Great. Hi, uh, my name is Dan Daly from Intel. It's my pleasure to introduce Paul Chang, who is the CTO of AstroFusion. Uh, he's here today to talk about four-dimensional P4 switches, including what problems they, they can solve, what uh, markets they can serve, and also how this interacts with existing open source software. So, Paul, well, take away. All right. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for the introductions. Hello, welcome to my presentations. In this presentation, I will provide the basic introduction to the Astrofusion four-dimensional P4 switches. The first two dimensions of the switch are the control plane and the boarding plane, which are similar to most of the white box switches on the market today. However, what makes our switch interesting could be the third dimension of the functionality plane, which is designed to run the advanced network services. And also the fourth dimension of the visibility plane, specifically designed to carry the INT and MPP traffic. The core of the switch architecture is the Topino ASIC on the boarding plane. It not only interconnects switching port together, but also provide interconnection to the other three dimension of the switch. It connects to the control plane, which include an Intel x86 COM Express module running the open source NOS software like Sonic and the Stratum. It also connected to the functionality plane, which include two ARM processor modules running the DBDK and the VPP software. DBDK and VPP can process packet in the batch and the pipeline mode, which will make them the superior technology for handling high-performance data plane services. Tofino ASIC also provides 225 gig connection to the dedicated visibility ports. With dedicated visibility ports, INT traffic will not be allowed to intrude into the production network traffic which would be crucial to the accurate diagnosis of potential networking problem, especially during the network congestions, when we will need to collect as much telemetry information as possible while not being able to worsen in the congestion at the same time. The switch product contains non-oversubscribed downlink and uplink ports. In addition, it also provides two 25 gig visibility port in the front panel. This picture shows the key component inside the switch product, which include a Topino ASIC, a COM Express module, and two pluggable ARM modules. Each ARM module contains an Octane TX2 chip and up to 96 gigabyte of DDR4 memory. This slide shows some example of network service that could run on the switch and how the functions in each switch can be distributed into each dimension of the switch. For example, in the case of cloud fabric microburst mitigation, overflow traffic could be redirected from the forwarding plane into the functionality plane during the burst in order to prevent potential packet loss. In the case of 10 million flow server load balancing, millions of low, ban low bandwidth transaction flow can run on the functionality plane, while at the same time, hundreds of thousands of high bandwidth data flow can run on the forwarding plane. There are also other examples such as HCI NFV gateway, 5G UPF, edge computing switch, comprehensive network packet broker switch, and so on. However, due to time limitations, I won't be able to get into the details right now, but please do contact my company if you need more information. The whole switch part line contains switching platform from Tor access switch all the way to the spine and aggregation switch. Please know that all the switch have 225 gig dedicated visibility port in their front panel. 
Also associated with this product line are the three software framework in the area of Neo OS and uh, Fabric Controller. With this software framework, Neo developer can take advantage of the open software architecture to add on their own unique Neo service that would best fit into their business application. In the end, we do believe this strong combination of unique hardware design in the 4D P4 switches and their associate open software framework will provide to our customer the innovation platform for their intellectual property and investment protection. With that, I would like to thank you for your time and attention to my presentation. Thank you, that looks really interesting. I, uh, I had a couple sure. questions. Sure, um, please. About the, the functionality plane. So you said the control plane runs things like Sonic or Stratum or things like that. What yes. would be running on the functionality plane on those on those Octeons? Yeah, uh, basically it's a DBDK basis. And then on top of that, we could run additional uh, high performance software, uh, data plane software like BPP, vector packet processing, or the DPVS and for the low balancer. So you can add on it, uh, any additional the, um, kind of batch processing base of the software in those the ARM processor in order to speed up the order performance needed to run this high performance the data plane service functions. I see, okay. And I, I, I suppose that those uh, functions could also put uh, some data out the visibility plane. If they wanted to expose what's going on in, in the functionality plane, you could you could sort of cross the planes in that way. Sure, I mean, that's the key of the, the beauty of the P4 switch, right? It can provide the, all the necessary, the programmability for you to provide the switching function between the any data plane, any planes of this, of this switch. So that the, the traffic can flow from the production traffic switching port to the functionality plan, and also the functionality plan can put in the, the packet directed to the switching ports as well as to the uh, visibility ports. Ah, I see. So you use P4 there to switch between yes. the four different <laughs> There you go. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Great. Yeah, Thank that's you. the beauty about the programmability of the P4 switches. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, thank you very much. This is really exciting. Oh, great. Right. Good. Thank you.